Sup, everybody? How you guys doing? What up, what up? Um, we're gonna do a maybe kind of halfway stream tonight. Might cut things a little bit short. Uh, ooh, is my stream lagging? Got a message from YouTube here saying the stream ain't looking great. No, I guess it's fine. Just one of those messages from YouTube, but I got no dropped frames or anything, so everyone should be able to see this. Uh, what's up, everybody? Rance Gown, first one here saying, hey, hey, followed by Poos on Poos, Isaiah, Donut Cop, Lakers, Bodyguard, Anders, what's up, what's up, what's up? Zolo Harrison here yelling, Neymar! Alright, um... What do we got? Let's get a tweet out real quick. Uh, 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 uh. Dearest Ant Marvel Champions. <laughs> okay, dearest Ant Marvel Champions. Um, what do I say today? I guess I will say. Yeah, let me say short stream tonight, uh, and then we're off to cheer Legacy on his uh, uh, on his uh, act. Does this sound weird? <laughs> this is sounding weird to me for some reason. Six point four. Legends run. Uh, short stream tonight, and then we're off to Cheer Legacy. On his, I guess not. I guess it sounds fine. Princess, I am now new. Okay, to eat. All right. What's up, people? How you guys doing? How are you guys doing? BG, I'm stuck. I want to rank up my Ghost and my Claire. Who do I rank up? Both five stars. They're very different champions. It really depends on what you need. Uh, in general, I feel that Ghost is the superior champion, but uh, that doesn't mean that you should definitely go with Ghost or anything. Um, you know, first off, Ghost very unique in her playstyle, so you have to enjoy that playstyle. You have to be comfortable with that playstyle for that rank up to even be worth it. Number one, and number two, let's do some uncollected. Number two, um. In some situations, Claire's just going to be the better champion. So, it uh, it all depends on what your needs are. Uh, I guess we'll throw Colossus in there since we're doing uncollected. I don't even expect to use him, but uh, why not? We'll really go all out here. Throw in the, the good team. The good team! Pops! What's up, Miguel? How you doing? Uh, let's... Take this one over here. I'm quarantined to my place for a week for being sick. Guess it's MCOC and Xbox time. Well, dang, dude. It's a bummer to hear that, but yeah, at least you got some games to keep you busy. You feel better soon. Karate Mike, what's up, dude? BG started, uh, started having real people thoughts on uh, using my 6-star generic gem on Ghost for 6.4. I'm very conflicted. I mean, she's worth it. <laughs> she is worth it, but I hear you, man. You, six star awakening gems, they ain't that common. So, yeah. Uh, that is a tough call, man. That is a very tough call. Uh, Alright, let's move around. Six star Colossus Undupe worth uh, rank 2 gem? Yeah, it is. He's good. He does not need to uh, be awakened for average content, at least. Uh, he's still very powerful without it. What's up? Do you think? What do you think? Uh, hold on. What do you think about the fight against the Grandmaster? Uh, I just saw Lagacy do it a few times. Uh, it seems cool, man. It seems like an awesome fight. Looking forward to to jumping into it myself. Seems pretty sweet. 
GG somehow I got stuck as leader of four Nana. Hey man, you don't have to stay in there. It's uh don't feel any pressure. That's funny though, that that Kurz already <laughs> uh already abandoned the leadership. <laughs> uh What's up, Starlight? Pixie Bell. EG, I think you said item list will be Saturday at the earliest. Does that mean you're gonna finish 6.2 before you even try 6.4? Yeah. Uh, so I'm still not sure. I, I might do a Legends run for 6.4. I'm still contemplating it. Uh, it's either a Legends run or item list. But, uh, oh, that's right. I gotta change cutoffs. Good call. Um, either Legends run or item list. I'm not sure what I wanna do. But if I do a Legends run, I gotta clear 6.2 first. Either way, I wanna clear 6.2 first. There's only one path left, and then I get those sweet rewards, so. Okay, we've got Man Thing in the arena. And honestly, oh, <laughs> what did I just say, Man Thing? Mole Man, jeez. Mole Man in the arena, and I honestly don't think he's gonna go that high. I might as well just leave this 37 mil. Um, but he is a new champion, so I guess I'll bump it up to like, 42. I don't know. Um, but I'm not going for him. I, I don't really think Mole Man's a good champion. I'll put the 4-star at 9 million. Just, that, uh, just a guess. Just a reminder, guys. Always go higher than what my cutoffs say. Uh, it is purely a guess. Who's the basic champion? Somebody let me know. Uh, I'll go check it out in a sec after I'm done with this quest. But I figure one of you guys... You'd probably tell me faster. Legitimately guessing 28 mil for Mole Man. <laughs> you might, you might, uh, you might be right. <laughs> Maybe Ghost Rider. Okay, Ghost Rider's not gonna go high. He's an oldie. Uh, Ghost Ride. Can we fit the R? Oh, we can fit the R. That's fine. Okay. All right. He's gonna go for uh, one point. Six, I guess. Yeah. I kind of want to say 1.7 just because a lot of people still use Blade. Maybe they want Blade, but they probably want the 5 star version. So, yeah, I guess I'll say 1.6. Uh, actually, I'll say 1.7 just because. I don't know. I have a feel. Even, even as, uh, as much as I warn people that it's just a guess, people will always. Uh, uh, or some people will not hear that, and some people will see my cutoffs here. They won't see the word estimated at the front of it, and they'll grind to the exact score that I put, and then they'll miss, and yeah. What's another 0.1 million? Still though, people, please go higher. To give an example, if I were going for Ghost Rider, I would grind uh, to like 2.1 million. Scotty Lang sent it over to uh, with a P afterwards. Is that just P for Paseo? <laughs> Got it, man. Thank you very much. Where's Terax? Terax is uh, not in the game yet, officially at least. We have him in the content creator program, but uh, there's embargo dates. <laughs> Slap. <sighs> Scotty, thank you very much. Yeah, there's embargo dates on new champions, so you can't post content immediately, um, in most cases. Really. Ghost Rider was my first 5-star, and I still use him to this day. He's slow, but man, when you play with a champion for literal years, uh, you know them so well, they become better to you than some better champs. I agree. That's how I feel about certain champions, too. It's... Uh, their abilities, they're just burned into my brain. How, exactly how to how to play with them. Um, it's not looking like it right now with uh, Omega Red, even though he was one of the champions I was going to mention. <laughs> it was a pretty rough start to this fight. Jeez. BG, are you safe from the virus? Um, I guess so. I haven't left my house since uh, 1971, so... Uh, should be safe, yeah. Alright, uh, that's good enough for an energy dump for right now. Do you plan to do a long shot style vid for Terax? No. I do not. 
Um, I'll talk more about after the Terax embargo is up as for why. But that's all I can say for right now, at least. Holy BG, just pulled five star Maw. Good Mystics are still avoiding me, I guess. Um, yeah. Unfortunately, Maw is still in that kind of category. I mean, good defender, but, you know, otherwise, yeah. Every last BG, what's your last one, Pixie Bell? What do we got? What do we got? The man doesn't go outside and hates pants, so he's good. There we go. I'd have to put on pants to first go outside, and you know I ain't doing that, so. BG, just jump to say hello, Marowata. What's up? What up? Uh, by the way, guys, I said it at the start of the stream. I said it in my tweet. But tonight's going to be a little bit on the shorter side of a stream. I don't know exactly what that means. I was thinking maybe somewhere around an hour. But uh, I want to be able to jump back on with Lags a little bit. He's doing a 6.4 Legends run. Honestly, you guys should be uh, over there right now. I mean, you could do, you could do whatever you want. But the Legends run is pretty interesting, so... Uh, but yeah, I want to, uh, be able to cheer him on a little bit, and, uh, I don't stay up too late, so if I stream to my normal time, I will not be able to, to cheer him on at all. Uh, Yuki sent it over three of them Polish bucks. Yuki, thank you very much. Sam Brian, would you 565 duped ghost if you already had an undupe six star rank two? I'm almost certain I'll rank her up, seeing what she can do at 6.4. Also, double barrel ghost is not a bad idea. It is not a bad idea. Um, there's certain champions that I'm not really as big a fan of for, like, doubling up on rank ups. I would say Corvus is an example of that, where uh, I feel like if <laughs> one Corvus is good enough, <laughs> you know. I mean, uh, I guess I mean there's situations where where you could, you know, where you'd benefit from having multiple Corvuses for sure. But um, anyway, Ghost. Ghost is different. I feel like um, I I would not mind having two ghosts, and I would <laughs> I would rank up a second ghost. Yeah. Uh. So yeah, I would do it, Yuki. Thank you very much for them three Polish bucks. Of course, I mean you could always delay that rank up too. If you already have one ghost, you could always, you know, fill in some other holes if you have any other holes in your roster that. Uh, that, that uh, need filling first, but I don't. I think it's a good idea to have multiple ghosts if possible. All right, Golk, get out my face! No, Mr. Banana, I'm a bit of a pickle. I'm at a spot in the game where I'm starting to rank five four stars, and with this in mind, I have been looking for a stable alliance and am unable to find one. Yeah, finding a good home can sometimes be difficult. I'd recommend uh, you know posting on the on the forums, the official ones, or Reddit. Um, there's some, uh, I think there's a line group and Discord group for stuff like that too. Um, but back back in the day, I posted on the uh, or I found a post on the official forums and alliance that was recruiting. Found a found a good group of dudes, and that was for Loki. Worked out. Hey man, did I hear two ghosts? <laughs> Pete, what's up, dude? Yeah, unless you're going up against Pac-Man. I mean, double ghosting. That's pretty good. BG, do you like Quake? No, I'm not really a big Quake fan. She's very strong. I'll never deny that, but I don't really enjoy playing her. Uh, bro, this spider just dodged me. Literal passive evade. IRL spider? Dude, you're fighting against Spider-Man in his spider form. You don't have to put pants on to go outside. That's a true. That's that is true. <laughs> that's very true. <laughs> you hear about my 6.4 pulls? Uh dude, I I I think I saw your tweet. I honestly, man, I didn't even know you did a run. Uh, and then I looked on Twitter real quick. Let me hold on. Where is it? Uh. Mm -mm. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> ghost. Ghost for the ghost man. 
Uh, Pete, congrats, dude. I oh man, I I wish I was there for that because I'm sure you were pretty uh, I'm sure you were pretty hyped when you got six star ghost. Uh, BG, who should I rank five first, Hyperion Thing or Colossus? By the way, place twenty six in five star Thing Arena with forty six and a half mil. Kanga Janga, congrats. Uh, that is awesome. They're all so good, dude. I I don't think I can answer that for you. Hyperion Thing or Colossus? They are all so so good. Um, I I have all three of them ranked up. I can tell you this much at least. I use Hyperion and Colossus more than I use Thing, but for the situations where Thing is good, like he's he's more than good. <laughs> you know, like all three of those champions are stupidly powerful. Uh, you recommend doing Abyss or Act Six first, and it's better to go through all of Act Six once or explore one chapter at a time. In general, it's better to get the one-time completion rewards uh, rather than going through and uh, clearing out content one at a time. But, you know, of course, things uh, get pretty difficult in Act 6, and if you're not ready to handle, um, like, the, uh, what's it called, the, the champion boss of 6.2 or something like that, then you could always take your time clearing out... Uh, uh, quests prior to that. But in general, you can do a one-time clear. That'd be the best. Uh, as far as Act 6 or the Abyss goes, it probably depends on your champions. Um, I would have to say... If it were me, I would do a one-time clear of Act 6 first. Um, and that's mostly because I it'd be easier to space out my runs. You know, I would go through, and whatever revives I used, I would just wait before going on to the next quest. I'd wait until I replace those, move on to the next quest, and so on. And it would be extremely cheap, if not free, unit-wise. Whereas the Abyss probably takes uh, quite a bit of farming and planning beforehand and stuff like that to uh, have a similar result. Even if the rewards are... Uh, I haven't even compared the rewards, but even even if the rewards end up being better, like, uh, no, I, I would just do Act 6 first. Um, but, yeah, it's... It's kind of take your pick at this point. It's not a, uh, not a linear game anymore. You can... You can go either way. Uh, mustache Man sent in over a 5. Uh, mustache Man, thank you very much, saying, give me that hairy yellow looking big OD PS happy birthday mustache man thank you very much <laughs> for <laughs> there is so many letters in that happy birthday message to only say happy birthday like six B's <laughs> um mustache man thank you very much uh does Terry Joe send it over a buck sup dude uh, saying, BG, you are America's role model and uh, COVID-19's worst nightmare. Hashtag be like BG. Thanks, man. Yeah, staying inside all day, it has its benefits. Uh, also, BG did 6.5 mil and 9.2 mil, respectively, the last two rounds of Five Star Featured Arena. Send help. Dysentery Joe, I'm proud of you, man. I'm proud of you. Good stuff. Uh, that's awesome. Uh, thank you for the book. BG, I'm not a big fan on champs who rely heavily on parry stunning to be good, like Hype, Colossus, Cap, Infinity. Them needing to parry makes it hard to play reliably and have many bad matchup. Thoughts? Uh, I see where you're coming from. However, they don't necessarily need to parry to be good. Um, Hyperion, sure, he gains his Furies, but he has natural power gain, the ability to intercept with, uh, with his specials, essentially. Um, and, yeah, there's many situations where I don't heavy attack with Hyperion, and he's still a beast. Um, Colossus, same thing, yeah, his damage output goes through the roof when you can parry with him, but he still brings all the immunities to the table. 
He still can gain armor ups without parrying. Um, he's still he's still amazing without uh, without doing any heavy attacks whatsoever. Um, still super super useful. Uh, as far as Beardo goes, Beardo I don't use as much, so I pretty much only use Beardo in a situation where I can parry, I guess, but not, that's not always, even if the enemy is stun immune, I've used him in stun immune situations to put the debuffs, and that's fine, um, but I don't use him as much, so... Uh, I don't have as much experience to say like how good or bad he is necessarily with or without the parries. But the other two are still great. Um, Big Daniel sent it over to saying second last, my favorite bog ed hoarding buddy. Okay, Big Daniels, where you at, dude? Uh, not sure if you saw in lag stream, but I saw your video pop up. Uh, never give up one, and I thought you finished Itemless Adventure off stream and almost cried. I would never do that, man. Are you kidding me? I would never. <laughs> um, that is a stream only activity right there, man. Uh, but Daniels, thank you very much for the two. Why am I still in this arena? I did four rounds? Dude, only supposed to be three. What's going on? Alright, let's get back to this. BG pulled four star man thing from a premium hero crystal. Should I sell him? I don't need that negativity <laughs> negativity on my account. Wow, Tom. Dude. How dare you? How dare you come in here with this man thing hate? Uh, you know, it'd be kind of fun for a challenge going through content, but you could only put your points in one of the mastery cheese, example proficiencies only, and so on. Uh, I don't know how well that would work for this game. I think that works in in certain games, like uh, like in Diablo 2, for example, uh, where you have like different, like really different uh, mass like talents or skills or whatever you want to call them. Um, but in this game, I don't know. I don't know if I would enjoy that too much. Kid school just shut down for two weeks, and technically they have had spring break the week after that. For once, kind of glad they don't live with me. Yeah, man. <laughs> BG, we effed or what? Um... Not just yet. Not just yet. I need uh, a little bit more time. But I am joining, Glory Man. Don't you worry, man. I am joining. Uh, you won't have anyone on your face. Uh, as far as, I, as, as if I can help it, you know? Uh, what's up, Hinatch? BG, any tips on getting back into the game? Uh, free to play ish in Master and competitive AQ doesn't seem easy, and War seems tougher. Worth trying? Well, I guess the first thing is. Do you need that stuff? Um, are you able to enjoy the game without being in, like, the top alliances and stuff. Um, I mean, it's... It, 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 it is doable. Kind of. But it has become much more difficult in the past, I don't know, six... Six, eight-ish months or so because of uh, certain offers and certain items really only being available for pay. Um, but you don't necessarily have to pay a lot, so that would still fall under the free-to-play-ish category. So it is doable if you want it to be competitive um, without, without breaking the bank. But do you need that, you know? Um... I think it's. I think this game is really fun, even without being in the 
most competitive side of things. Oh god, hold on. Whew, had to sneeze. Um, I think uh, I think the game is really fun, even if you're not in the uh, competitive side of things. There's so much content to do, so many ways to rank up your champions and stuff like that. Um, but that's that's a personal decision, of course. Um, so only you could really answer that. But uh, as far as any tips goes, I guess the tips would be spend on signature stones. Um, the six star ones, specifically at least. Uh, I, I mean, I don't, I don't know how to how to bundle these tips up in a nice little package. Because uh, really, it's just like, okay, do the content, buy the uh, the signature stones. Um, don't fall into the hype of new champions. Because, uh, yeah, I mean, that's that's the biggest thing, right? Is the Cav Crystals. So, may maybe there's certain times where you want to try your luck on a few of those. If it's, like, a high prestige champion or something. Because that's really all you need is, is like, the, the prestige. So, if you just focus on prestige... But limit all spending to only things that will increase your prestige. That's probably the best bet. And then just uh, complete solo content. BG, do you see Act 1 rewards get updated? Uh, I did see the, them get updated. I didn't look into them too much. But hey, that'll be great news for starting up a new account, you know. BG, new to the channel, what did I miss from my channel in total? Hmm. If I had to pick out the things that matter to most people, I would say lots of crystals got opened. There was a one time a mishap with an awakening gem. <laughs> and that's about it, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> but welcome, dude. Welcome. Uh if you're talking about if you're just talking about this stream, you missed nothing. This stream, these streams are just all chill. If you got questions to ask and stuff like that, I do my best to answer them, or uh, other people try to answer them too. And free to play, I guess, is the other thing about my my account and my channel here. Uh, Cairo sent over a buck. Thank you very much. Where you at? BG, which champs in the game do you think would make good friends in real life? Man Thing, number one. Um, he's that lovable, kind of stupid guy that just makes you laugh always, you know? Um, that's number one. Number two. I would say Gwenpool. Actually, I don't know if Gwenpool would make a good friend. I mean, she seems like she's a very smiley, happy person and stuff, you know? probably fun to be around but then at the same time it seems like she'd be the one to prank you and not in funny ways I'm not just talking about putting a whoopee cushion down on your seat you know what I mean I feel like she's doing some um, potentially destructive things to you you know <laughs> so I don't know rocket because I want to borrow his jetpack these are, these are the reasons why these are my favorite champions, by the way, guys. Like, if you haven't noticed, I'm just calling out all my old favorites. Uh, and new favorites. Uh, and they're my favorites because I feel like they'd be my friends in real life, you know? Uh, but dude, thank you very much for the buck. Do you think the gap between whales and free-to-play slash moderate spenders will ever shrink or would only continue to grow? Well, it's up to Kabam. Um, I think it, I think it comes in waves, but I don't think the gap is, is changing anytime soon, is probably the, the best way I could put it. So, I think about it like this.
It's going to take a very long time for free-to-play players to get SIG levels on six stars, right? We're not getting uh, SIG stone offers and um, the few opportunities that we do have to increase six star SIG levels. Uh, they're they're, they're going to come in small doses. Like, I'm sure in the Cavalier diff... Well, I can't even say I'm sure. I was so sure for at so many points in the game that we would see SIG stone updates, but... Um, so I can't even say I'm sure anymore, but maybe we'll get six, six star six stones in the Cavalier difficulty of the monthly. But it, if we do, it's going to be in very small doses. So over time, players will be able to take their six star champions up to rank two. Or, I'm sorry, up to, up to SIG 200. Jeez, my mind's all over the place. Up to SIG 200, right? But how long is that going to be? Um, players are probably going to have rank four six star champions at that point uh and then yeah it like uh, getting five we would need like five of those champions essentially uh we would need five free ways of getting those champions because you can bet that even if kabam allows like everybody to get their first rank four at the same time the way they did with five stars going to rank five well, you can bet that there will be paid ways to get those champions up faster. So, um, I'm thinking by the time players have five ways to to take their six-star champions to rank four, that's probably when the prestige gap will uh, uh, will will close a bit. But that's like think about it. we just got to rank three six stars, so. Yeah, that gap is, um, for the time being, uh, nowhere near close to, uh, coming to a close. It's just a guess, too. Speculation. I could be wrong, but that's the way I think about it, at least. B. Daniels, sending over five. Same BG channel recap. He ate bananas. He crushed kids. <laughs> His egg has the universe or is rotten inside. Hey. I would not call this universe rotten, okay? Because it's not one or the other. The universe is definitely in there, B. Daniels. Um, and this message was was uh, sponsored, bald caps and turtle wax. Yeah, that about sums it up. B. Daniels is spot on. <laughs> uh, B. Daniels, thank you, man. Thank you for the wonderful recap. Ryan, what do I do with my Namor? He's duped, but he shouldn't be. Give it some time, I guess. He won't be duped for long if Kabam has their way with them. <laughs> BG, saw your one last path, never give up video. Awesome, such an inspiration. Alan, thank you very much, man. Appreciate it. Is it me or is he lagging? Uh, you might have to refresh. Oh, I well, I did actually, I did drop 16 frames. So I might have been lagging for about half a second but I, I shouldn't be lagging anymore and if I am maybe just give YouTube a refresh <laughs> PG was Dr. Doom he would backhand slap children wow lies you know what's interesting okay so yeah I admitted to uh imagining myself as Godzilla and and uh Walking around and stepping on children. Yeah, okay. I admit it. That's. That is uh, the thoughts that were going through my brain. <laughs> but. But. One. Number one, I never did it, okay? Never hurt any, any child or anything like that. And two, I keep this stream family friendly for the kids. Alright? Keep that in mind. This Gwenpool, I, I'm going to wait for the damage reflection to finish her off. There we go. BG, Gwenpool, you sure? Have you seen how Columbus is using a special three? Uh, you're going to end up dead. You could be right, man. Yeah, she seems pretty careless. Uh, she probably wouldn't be good to hang out with. So you didn't get that Depend sponsorship yet? Maybe during my 6.4 run I'll have it. G have done my first run of Abyss a couple weeks ago, and I received the six-star Mystic Awakening Gem. No unawakened Mystic aside from Man Thing. Worth using? Uh, don't like to hoard those high-end resources. Oh man, probably not worth. 
Oof, don't like to hoard the high-end resources. Probably not worth it, man. Uh, I love Man-Thing, and I think he's way better than people give him credit for, but I, I, I wouldn't give him a six-star Awakening gem myself, so I can't really recommend it. Uh, Daniel sent it over another five, saying, P.S. He opens thousands of PHCs while holding crystals that people actually want to see open. Hey, I don't even open PHCs anymore, all right? It's been a long time since I popped those open. Uh, and, hey, I also have 20-something five stars that I'll be opening up very soon. So, there's that, too. Um, Puppy Daniels, thank you very much for the Dow 12. Apu Das sent it over 40 of them rupees as well. Thank you, dude. Say, BG 100k subs stream 24 hours new account. The the new buff rewards are juicy. Also, they plan to do Act 2 and 3, I think. I'm not going to do a 24 hour for the 100k thing, but we'll see sometime maybe soonish on that. I really do want to do that and I don't want to wait too much longer. Um, we'll, we'll see. We'll see when I can do it. But I don't want to make any... Uh... Actually, this Mole Man event might not be too bad. So I started clearing through the Mole Man stuff and I realized that there were um, Class Catalyst crystals in there. Um, thinking about a new account challenge, it might not be that easy to get Class Catalyst within 24 hours. So... Um, maybe I should look to do it. It would take it would eat up so much time clearing that quest, though. There's so many paths and everything, but I I don't know. I'll I'll think about doing it sometime soon, I guess. Uh, don't know if it'll be this event or the next or even the one after or the one after that. We'll see. Need to hear your voice to drive home. You want me to sing? Is that your request? <laughs> I could do that. No, I know that's not what you're asking, but I'm still gonna do it anyway. Me, me, me. No, I won't do that. Uh, my stream is actually lagging slash stuttering a lot, and I refreshed like ten times already. Damn. It's it's gotta be on YouTube's end because I since those uh, few dropped frames, which should have only been half a second. I haven't dropped any frames. There's no uh, no lag issues here. So I don't know what the deal is with that. Uh, Brian, guess who hasn't done 100% Act 1 yet? Pete! Time to claim those sweet rewards, man. Please sing. Alright, fine. Deo! Deo! Daylight come and me one go home. Day. Me say day, me say day, me say day, me say day. Oh. Come, Mr. Tally Man, Tally Me Banana. That's the, that's the worst. Oh, man. Just killing this song. Not in a good way. As Captain Beardo, worth the gem, planning on going for the champion. Uh, you don't need his awaken ability for the uh, for the champion, so I would say no in that case. Um, he can be worth awakening, but only if you need that awaken ability. And even if you need that awaken ability, you better have some six stones to back it up, otherwise it's not going to be reliable. And by the way, I did abyss with Cole Obsidian primarily. I think he's super underrated for the abyss. Um, you might be right. The Abyss, uh, from what I could tell, I haven't done the Abyss myself, but from what I can tell, it seemed like those champions didn't even hit that hard. So, maybe he'd be good. And because you get to parry and everything, get the armor breaks? That is interesting. Interesting here. Brian, due to the coronavirus, you're going to have to talk to an empty room tonight. Oh no. Is it, is it a ghost town, not only outside, but in streams too? My ears. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, uh, yeah, watch Wook running through Abyss and he killed it. Oh, nice. 
Awesome. Uh, damn it, now I gotta go watch that clip again. <laughs> say day. Dude. It's the best song. Uh, would definitely buy the Brian Grant cassette for two easy payments of nine ninety nine. Oh man. There we go. There it is. That's my first merch. <laughs> first merch. Uh, cassette. Two easy payments of nine ninety nine. Or we could stretch pay that for five easy payments of also nine ninety nine. I mean it's just, you know. We're not here to give discounts, people. Uh, BG saying, and we now have the cure for the virus. Wow, dude, my singing cured it. Probably made people want to get it, my singing. Uh, Ezra, I still hope I'm saying that correctly. Ezra said in over two, saying, uh, for those angelic notes you just blessed us with. Oh, you like those, eh? All right, that's a sign I need to continue. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Uh, I thought your first merch was bald caps. You're right. I mean, that's the first. But that's like... That's not really channel merch. That's just like, I'm doing the world a favor by having such high quality bald caps. And yeah, they are linked below. Yeah, you can go to the website. Uh, there's now 42 different models of bald caps. Uh, and... Uh, yeah, offer code banana, 10% off. I don't know, do I really need to say more? Get yourself some bald caps. Uh, we've got Valentine's Day coming up. Okay, that was last month. We've got, what holidays are coming up? Christmas has to be soon. I mean, we start earlier and earlier every year, so it's coming around again. Just get get ready. Stocking stuffers, people. Correct pronunciation once again? Okay, all right, cool. Uh... It sometimes takes me a little while to uh, to get it in my brain that I'm saying it right. Um, BG last call, police. All right, all right, all right. It's a joke, Starlet. Leave me alone. What is it? Oh no. Do I really want to go back and read a joke? I've heard of alphabet soup. Now get ready for Times New Ramen. Ugh. I regret going back. Boo. Actually, I... Do I dare say I kind of like that one? <laughs> I did kind of like it, actually. Uh, the owner sent it over, too, saying, Yes, I like them tunes, too. Dude. Man, so many of you guys like the way I sing. This is good. This is good to know. So, whenever I do stop playing MCOC, uh, I am going to start up a music channel. And... Dude, I mean... Look out, Justin Bieber. Here I come. You know what I mean? Step aside. There's a, there's a new kid on the block. New kids on the block. Look out. There's a newer kid on the block. Uh, terrible. Ter all terrible jokes. But the owner, <laughs> thank you very much. Uh, but Daniel sent it over to the Bucks and I thought your first merch was banana hammocks. The truth is, guys, I've got a lot of merch available. Um, if you want, if you want this sticker right on your banana hammock, then that is available. And I highly recommend it. Very comfortable. Um, you know, we, I only sell high quality products. I want you guys to know that. Only the highest quality. Corey said it over too, saying, are you taking requests? If so, purple rain, please. Uh, <laughs> I'm not taking requests. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. <laughs> I feel like, I feel like even though some people may have enjoyed the singing, you know, I don't, I don't want to strain my, uh, my vocal cords. You know what I mean? I gotta save it for, uh, future performances. And also, some people did hit the unsubscribe button. I have a live feed of the, uh, like a live count of my subscribers. And it actually went down by over a thousand just now, so. I can't actually do any more singing. Um, but Corey, thank you very much for the two. Uh, 
Uh, Tommy Jackson said over two as well. Say it, Hail Hydra BG. Yes. I think I know what that means. Actually, I, I'm. I mean, yeah, of course I know what that means. As an avid comic book reader that I am now, I totally know what that means. Um, wait, that's something that Captain America said, right? I actually don't know what it means. I know. I have a vague familiarity. <laughs> um, the one and only Red Skull Advocate. OPG, do not hail Hydra. Oh no. But done. Um, but yeah, it's something with like Captain America and Red Skull, right? BG Unpeeled, easy fame and money for that stage name. Yeah. It's uncanny how much BG looks like Moby. You think so? Uh, no BG, that's what Red Skull says? Oh, that's what Red Skull says? Oh, dude, I, I thought it was uh, something Captain America says. Uh, BG Zadatsi confirmed. Is that... Oh, is that what the Hail Hydra thing is? I know Red Skull was... Okay. That kind of makes sense. Because Red Skull is part of that or something. Man, I don't know comics. <laughs> I don't know comics. I just started reading them. I need more time. BG, what's Irish and stays outside all year? I... Oh, man. We're not going to get into these types of jokes, are we? The, uh... I feel like no one's going to get offended by that one, but I hope it doesn't go any further, because some people... Uh, I'm not saying you, Tom, but I have seen other jokes in the past that uh, once joke time starts up, it, uh... Some of the, some of the jokes... Yeah... <laughs> So, just to not start any of that up. Wait, was that bad? No, 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 no. I don't think yours was bad. I'm just saying it's a gateway joke. You know what I mean? Uh, but no, yours was not bad. Alright, fine. I'll say yours. Yours is... Uh, what's Irish and stays outside all year? Patio furniture. It was it was bad in a different way. It was it was bad not because it's offensive. It's bad because it's just a bad joke. Boo. Uh, Captain does say it in Endgame in order to get Loki's scepter. Ah! I knew it then. Okay, yeah, Captain America did say it while undercover though. Okay, all right. So I was half correct. Actually, screw that. I'm full on 100% correct. I once again reclaim my title of knower of all things Marvel. Google Moby and you won't deny it? I mean, I've seen Moby before, but... I don't really remember what he, uh, exactly what it looks like. Alright, fine. We're gonna go... Hold on. Moby. I mean, he's bald like me. Maybe if I got the same type of glasses? Hold on, can I... Is this how he looks? Am I in the, is my head in the right spot? Uh, Where's a better one? Oh, dude, his head... Looks like his water is absorbing it and his brain's gonna pop out right there. I don't know. We're both white and we, we're both bald. I think that's where the similarities uh, end, it seems. I guess we both have glasses too, so even though they're different types of glasses. 
What did the golfer... Or why did the golfer... Oh, no. Oh, no. Please don't start up joke time, guys. Why did the golfer bring two pairs of pants in case he got a hole in one? Ah, oh, boo. Will 2.5 mil for sure get Ghost Rider? Yeah. I would say there's no chance that Ghost Rider is going to go above 2.5 million. You are guaranteed to get the champion with that. And if somehow you do not get the champion, if somehow you do not get Ghost Rider for 2.5 million, send it a support ticket because something got messed up. <laughs> there's no way it'll go that high. Do you think Bowman and Terax should be good for defense? Well, I don't know about Terax yet, um, but Mole Man, Mole Man might be okay. I don't see him as being an amazing defender, but an okay one at least. Can you take out Grandmaster with Man Thing? Uh, I don't think he'll be good for it. A lot of Man Thing's damage comes from his poison, and apparently damage over time effects do not work on the Grandmaster, so... I would uh, highly recommend taking in a different champion. Oh, dude, look at that. Auto block cancel. Didn't work that time, though. Didn't have my stuff up. Please, okay. PG, I once split a pair of shorts on the third green. It was a long day after that. Luckily, I had conservative undies on. Dude, I was waiting to hear a joke from that. I guess that was no joke. <laughs> that was just actually split your pants, huh? Okay. Well, you know what they say. Splitting your pants better than... Shh. Poop in your pants. Uh, four star mole man will be more than nine mil BG, possibly. He's not very good. I don't think his uh his value is all there. It's just a guess. Uh, what's the worst combination of two sicknesses, diarrhea, and Alzheimer's? You're running, but you don't know where. Dude, I don't want either of those things. And I'm afraid that my for, my uh, my forgetfulness has leading me <laughs> towards uh, my my love of tacos and my forgetfulness is leading me towards uh, both of those. And my dog is running around here like crazy. <laughs> I don't know what she's doing. <laughs> She comes close. I'll grab her, throw her on stream, but I don't think she's coming close. Uh, I would reconsider that Grandmaster Man Thing position. Really, can easily complete all the prompts and damage modifier like armor break are powerful for when GM is wounded. Additionally, he can heal for sustainability. Okay. Maybe Man Thing is good. See, I was thinking, uh, I was thinking this. You don't have, uh, wait. Is the power, the power gain is different in that fight, right? You don't gain power naturally, like you can't just, I could be wrong on this, I'm just, I'm like asking. Uh, because I've only seen Legacy do the fight a little bit. And I wasn't paying super close attention all the time. But I don't think you gain power naturally, or nor through normal methods, right? Like, you can't have Mystic Dispersion. And if you can't have Mystic Dispersion... Um, and also, if you can't launch a lot of Special 1s or Special 3s, then you won't be able to stack up Armor Breaks too highly. Uh... So yeah, I could be wrong on that, but 
We're gonna see that Terax gameplay? No. Uh, I have Terax temporarily through the content creator program, and we are not allowed to uh, show gameplay of the champion yet. Uh, a few more days. And uh, we'll be able to post content. And I'm not even sure which day we're allowed to. But sometime soon. PG, what will happen if you rank up Terax? Uh, I'll get yelled at. They'll have to rank down the champion. <laughs> um, pot potentially remove me from the content creator program for, <laughs> for uh, violating the rules. I don't know. If it was an accident, I'm sure they, they would, they would. Uh, it'd be annoying for them, but they probably wouldn't kick me out. But <laughs> if I did it on purpose or did it more than once, then yeah, I'm sure they probably would kick me out. You're limited to one bar for the most of the fight, and you can stack lots of pustules and heavies to break them. Most of the time, you'd be stuck spamming special one, which, if you think about it, ain't bad. Okay. Can you? Still gain power through Mystic Dispersion? And spam specials? It's Sunday, Brian? What's Sunday? The embargo thing? Did someone else tell you that? Because I honestly don't even know. <laughs> like, I could check, but... Number one... It's not too important right now. And number two, I'm not even sure what's allowed to be said if we're allowed to say uh, the dates on that kind of thing or not. So I never say them regardless. Uh, yes, you can get Mr. Dispersion. Okay. All right. All right. Maybe Man Thing is good then. We'll see. I mean, seeing did Grandmaster with Cyclops and seven revives, so I assume Man Thing is somewhat competent. Uh, seven revives doesn't sound too great. I mean, maybe that's really good for uh, for Cyclops, because it's Cyclops, but... Uh, I'm trying to get the fight down and, like... It seem I mean, first off, Lag's almost had a one-shot. Um, but it seems like on his average runs, he was getting him down in, like, two revives or three... three like, two to three revives or something like that, towards the end, at least. I'm looking for that kind of run. Seven's a bit much. BG, when we do 6.4, I don't know. Still planning out what I want to do for it. It's power lock for the first 20% and power lock one for 80 to 30%. Okay. Interesting. Interesting, interesting. Can you Terex off stream? Maybe use him in quests. Uh, well, yeah, but I, I, I can't, like, I can't show you guys at all. You know what I mean? I can't show you guys. I can't talk about the champion's abilities. Um, I mean, I can talk about it from what you guys know, like the uh, what's it, what's it called? Uh, the champion spotlights are out and stuff like that, and, uh... Uh, I, I, well, they got them out really early this time. They were out before the leaked info, I think. I, I'm not even sure on that, but either way. We need more time on the Terrax stuff, guys. There's nothing... <laughs> there's no way around it right now. Uh, when you have five-star Mystic Awakening Gem, you only have Mordo Rip. Hey, there's a bunch of good Mystics these days, though. That's the good news on that. Uh, previously, I felt like the Mystic class was a little lacking. But these days, Mystic class looking pretty good. So I'm sure you get a, uh, a good champion to use that on soon. Uh, we do 6.4 itemless. Not sure yet. Still planning it. Uh, might do Legends run. Might do itemless. We shall see. Um, Alright, actually, I want to go do a different arena. Uh, oh man, we're already on that hour mark. Alright, so I'm probably going to stream for like another 15 minutes or so. A um, little bit of a short stream tonight, but 
said it a couple times in the stream already. Legacy is doing his Legends run right now for 6.4. So he's he's live. He's like more than halfway through it, I think. Uh, I want to be able to uh, go cheer him on for a little bit before I go to sleep. And yeah. So we're going to end in a little bit here. Um, and just go raid lags. Uh, bro, I can't get any good mystics. My wish is someone like Ebony Maw. Or even like Ghost Rider. Ooh, don't wish for Ebony Maw. <laughs> Ghost Rider's not bad. Um, but Ebony Maw. Yeah. Uh, Red Hulk or Spider Gwen? What champion to rank four? Ooh, that's a tough one. Um. If you have Domino, I, I would definitely go Red Hulk, personally, to, you know, like, pair them up together. If you don't have Domino, <sighs> tough co I might still go Red Hulk. I don't know. Spider-Gwen, she's not bad. Don't get me wrong, she's not bad, but... I have a tough time finding where she's really good in this game that you, like, need her abilities, I guess. Um, whereas Red Hulk, he doesn't necessarily have abilities that make him, like, super special or unique either, but he's just kind of a straightforward, easy-to-use champion. He's XL, so he's good for... Uh, I'm not sure where you're at in the game, but if you're um, if you're thinking about doing one of the variants soon, like he could be good for that. Um, I don't know. I kind of just prefer Red Hulk, I guess, between the two. But it's a tough call. I think you. I think I don't think either way is uh, is bad. I think kind of personal preference on that one. Colossus or Cap Marvel to rank five. Probably personal preference on that one, too. I, I prefer Colossus between those two. Although I'm a little bit biased because I don't have a high-level Captain Marvel. And maybe if I got a chance to really uh, test her limits, maybe I would, I'd uh, say otherwise. But um, Colossus, he's just so incredibly powerful. I, I got to uh, gotta give the nod to Colossus. What's the cutoff for Ghost Rider for a beginner? In the beginner's bracket, I'm not too sure. Uh, I'm not sure if... There's a channel um, called Crafty Grinding. And I'm not sure... I, I, I believe he still does cutoffs for beginner bracket and stuff like that. Um, I'm not too sure. If anyone else in here has info on that, please feel free to share. Just opened the fridge and was shocked at the sight of a 59... Dude, as soon as you said 59 ounces, Pete, I already know what you're talking about. Uh, shocked at the sight of a 59 ounce jug of the holiest of nectars. Lo and behold, our grocery store has run out of toilet paper, but the fount of mango tango runneth over. Ah, oh, Pete. Yes, dude. Yes. Uh, gotta love it, man. The mangoist of the tangoist still available. That is awesome. Damn shark, you got hostile quick. What are you guys talking about? Uh, Omega curb stomps AA. Well, I agree with that. Crafty does every bracket at the very end of the clip. Okay. Alright, cool. Crafty's a good dude, too. Um, he was he was there for one of the weeks that I was at the Summoner Showdown. Uh, and he was a really cool dude. So, definitely recommend his channel. Uh, if you're looking for... Um, you know, advice on cutoffs and stuff. Uh, R9 
orange juice. Sending over five of them euros. Orange juice, thank you very much. Saying you thought you were going to get through a stream without me making an appearance? Think again, Timothy. Oh, and happy birthday, by the way. Orange juice, thank you very much, man. Appreciate the five euros, even though it is not my birthday. <laughs> thank you very much. I appreciate it. Uh, thank you, thank you. Uh, Colossus backends uh, and beats more content than AA. Oh, for sure. If it's between Colossus and AA, I would totally go Colossus. For most situations. Uh, hey man, can you do a shout out for my cousin Annie? Uh, Annie Gurr? Uh, she's watching me browse live streams on my Xbox. Well, shout out to Annie. Uh, no, he said it. Uh... Oh, jeez. Wow. Well... I read it... <laughs> oh, jeez. I read it kind of slowly, and I didn't, uh... I didn't, uh, what's it called? Uh, it didn't, it didn't seem like a, uh, it didn't seem like a bad name. I thought it was, like, anger at first, but I guess I should have read it a little slower. Peace. You got me, but you're also banned. Uh, to be fair, the way you said it didn't sound bad. Okay, good. <laughs> you poor innocent banana, what have you done? P.S. Brian, day 13 of asking for big head mode. Any updates? Hunter, I'm sorry, man. No, uh, no updates on it yet. Sorry. Just watched your itemless run for 6.2.5 last path, and it was really amazing, man. Thank you. Bit of luck for petrified debuffs though, yeah, definitely. But it was 99% skill level, good going bro, thank you very much. Uh, I, I totally got luck, I mean the biggest luck factor on that is sticking all of the, uh, all of the uh, fear of the voids. That's the absolute worst, when fear of the void fails. Because if fear of the void is up, even if you fail a couple of debuffs, you're getting them fast enough that chances are you're going to get at least one Petrify before it, like, really matters. There was still some close calls where I got the Petrify slow, but because Fear of the Void never failed, because I lucked out on that front, it was, uh, it was, it was doable. Uh, but I, man, I was so happy that, uh, to get that path done. It's, man, like, watching it on the, on the, uh, watch, watching the VOD of it, like, it, <laughs> I don't know, it's such a different feeling <laughs> from, from, like, trying to do it live, too, like, whew, it does give some idea of like what can go wrong and stuff, but at the moment when it's live, just every time one of those one of those debuffs is coming around or the fear of the void checks, it's like, oh my god, dude, this is this is it. What's gonna happen? <laughs> it's so crazy. Uh, just if they tell you to shout out their last name, be skeptical. That's true. That's true. I should have uh, been skeptical when I saw a last name. Good call. Should you do Sentinel or get in 2099? Ah, it's a tough call, Charles. I... I don't know the best... What's best? Um... Hmm. I feel like I... Pre 
It might be. It might come down to personal preference. I feel like I prefer Sentinel, but I haven't had enough time to play with Guillotine to know how how uh, just how useful she is, how much I would like her. But of course, that's again kind of personal preference. Even if I did like her, um, I know Sentinel is useful for a ton of situations. I'm looking up Guillotine right now on Aunt May. I just want to see. 5 star 6 stats. When Guillotine would be struck, she has a chance to gain combo shield pass of less than 2 seconds, plus 2 additional seconds per Digi Soul. Okay. Cool down 60 seconds. Oh, uh, the second part too. While under the effect of a combo shield, damage from incoming attacks, excluding special 3, is capped at 10% of Guillotine's max health. Okay. Pretty useful, since she needs to hold her combo. You could argue that neither champion needs the Awakening and can be played on Awaken, but they both seem to benefit from it. Uh, decently enough, at least. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not sure who's best to Awaken in that case. I think... I think I would prefer a Sentinel between the two is all I could really say, but again, that's just me personally. Oh god, every single... All three opponents poison immune. I was like, who can I get neurotoxins on? <laughs> Nobody. That's Archangel's problem right there. It's too many immunities in this game. Uh, hmm, alright. Always wondered because my ideal suicide mastery build doesn't have any mystic dispersion. Uh, I think again I'm catching the tail end of a combo. Most of my suicide builds don't have mystic dispersion either, but it is sometimes fun to run both, for sure. And speaking of mystic dispersion. What a what a what a mastery right there. Like I'm missing it now that I don't have it. Um this always happens when I take off Mystic Dispersion after I've been playing with it. Uh and yeah, I just like I'm excited to put it back on for my uh my itemless runs. But I know it's gonna be short lived once again. It's always short lived with Mystic Dispersion. Makes me sad. I wish there was another way to uh, to get Mystic Dispersion. I wish it was a uh, individual champ uh, mastery kind of thing, you know. What tangent is this? The Mystic Dispersion tangent. Try to keep up, Pixie Bell. <laughs> Is the one is the tangent right after the uh said name bad name tangent. <laughs> uh alright, I think this is gonna be my last round though, and then I'm gonna go pop some crystals, get my two hundred and twenty five units, like always. Like I do every night. God, I wish. Can you imagine 225 units every night? Like, how many units is that per year? Let's do the math real quick. 82,000 units if you can get 225 every night. Oh. Oh, my goodness. That'd be nice. <laughs> PG never sleep chuckles after talking back to Pixie. Wow. How many five stars you have? Um... We could do a quick count. Hang on. After this round, I'll uh, do a quick count before I get my two, my free 225 units. BBG recently took Venom the Duck to rank three as a five star. What do you recommend to maximize his potential? Mostly offensive uh, stats. Um, don't get. Here's where I think people go wrong with Venom the Duck. 
don't get too caught up in the regen. It's easy to, to get too much regen, and if you do that, you don't get enough offensive stats. And then Venom the Duck ends up playing like, uh, like this guy right here. And a lot of people don't really care for this guy right here. Um, so yeah, the power gain is his best uh, uh, stat, I would say. And crit is really important for Venom the Duck as well. And yeah, increasing attack with the Fury is also pretty much always good. But if you can get like three or, or like yeah, like three, even four power gains is really nice. Uh, and then yeah, if you can get like one, like one to two regens max is usually ideal. Anything more than that, and yeah, you're just taking up too much space with that. All right, let's do the five star count: five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five, forty. Well, all right, we'll subtract one for for Terax. Uh, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 70, 70, 70. Okay, one, 117 subtracting the one for, uh, Terex. Um, uh, which is more than I thought. I actually thought I was at, like, five less than that or so. Man, missing a lot, though. Look at this. Look at all the missing five stars right here. And look at all of these five-star crystals that I am soon to open right here. So, I'm going to get some new champions, I hope. Very likely to get some new champions, at least. How do you have Terax? Uh, content creator program. Just temporary access to them for making videos. I don't get to keep them. They spend like 300k for premium crystals. Message is deleted. Were you spamming? Yep, you were spamming. Got caught spamming. Please, no spam. Uh. Look at each. Uh, look at each star rate, and see which champs are missing. Ah, I'll do that another time. Right now, we need to go join Legacy's stream. Give me the units. A uh, little, little bit of a troll rollover. I didn't think it was stopping. You didn't really get me, Kabam. All right. I knew it wasn't stopping the whole time. Okay. Uh. All right. I'm gonna go grab a link to Legacies. I'm gonna go cheer him on. I will uh, hop on call with him momentarily. Uh, give me a sec. All right, all right, all right, all right. Okay, got his link. It is in the chat. Hope this is the right link. Um, actually, I could just do this to double check. There is never. Oh, it's ad playing. Uh, okay, yeah, that is is all right. Cool. We say hop on call. Can you say or when you hop on call? Can you say I'm here ready to dupe slap the children no i'm not gonna say that <laughs> um all right yeah guys he's he's already very deep in his legends run um and i think he's gonna do an opening at the end of it so if you're uh if you're gonna be up i know it's late but if you are going to be up then definitely cheer him on are you still joining our Loki tonight? Um, tomorrow morning, Doc. Tomorrow morning. Still, still planning on joining. Not done having fun. <laughs> Not being an alliance just yet. All right. Uh, but I'll see you guys over in Legacies. Links one more time are uh, in the chat. Go cheer them on. And be Daniels if you're still in here. Thank you very much for being tonight's biggest D. Make sure you join before a placement. I'll try. And, uh, yeah, thank you, everyone else, for hanging out and the super chats and all that. All right, later, guys.